Hello everybody in Marlon's GLE class. This is your or these are your instructions for September 25th, 2014. I am not in class today, as you might have been able to tell, but I am going to show you how to fill out your seven habits research project and also how to use something to start doing a bit of job research. So the first thing I'm going to do is go into your document. And this is your seven habits project, the one that says your seven habits project on it. So the first question reads, why do I want to take this opportunity? And you can quite simply answer this question just by saying something like, I want to be a plumber. I just picked the name of an occupation. It could be that you want to be a mechanic. It could be that you want to go to a certain school anything at all. It could even be that you want to travel. So if you want to go to Europe, it just might be that you want to travel for that year. These questions are something a bit more personal. And this is if you want something to change completely about your life, or if you just want to make your life better in some way. You can simply choose something I want to make better. Where this opportunity is located, and if you need to travel there, and how much it will be. You can look into airlines like Air Canada, WestJet, and so on if you're looking at travel. But you can also look at something like my blueprint if you're doing job research. And that's what I'm going to show you next. Now, how much is this opportunity going to cost? You'd be looking at travel, you'd be looking at food, you'd be buying if you were traveling, or if you were looking at school, it would be the job research section of my blueprint. So what we then do is go to my blueprint home. And you can't see anything about looking at occupations on the first part of the home page, but if you scroll down, you can click on explore occupations. And once we get to the Explore Occupations page, make sure that at the side here, you have all your filters cleared. So these are called search filters. Now if you take that away, your search filters are all clear. So in my case, uh, I might want to be a plumber. So I would put in plumber here and click search. And what comes up then is that plumber. Now, I've already got it started. It's selected for me as one of my favorites. So if this is the one that you want, I see, and that saves it to your searches from now on. So what you can do is click on Plumber now, and Plumber will tell you a lot of different information about that specific career. And it will open eventually. There we go. So there's a few things here. There's an overview. There's what they do. Getting there. And this will tell you about schooling and such. This is the amount of jobs that are out there right now. And you can learn quite a bit more about it here. Sharing. You can send this to yourself over email. But it would also save for you right here. Some videos you can watch. And these are your employment requirements. So it looks here that... You can either go through high school, college or apprenticeship, or do and a combination of on-the-job training as well. You've got some jobs listed here at the bottom. But let's look at this getting here section right now. So we've got the getting here section. There it is. So we would look at college or apprenticeship for that. These are the essential skills that you'll need down here and so on. And there's some programs down at the bottom. So you could even see how much it costs for you to be in this program. And that would be simply by clicking on potential programs. I just went back, if I go back for a second, you can see that I clicked on view all related instead of just choosing one at the bottom here. And there we go. So we have apprenticeships, we have all the college programs, and from here, Every time you click on one of these, you can see 
how much these opportunities cost you. And that information you would quite simply just put into here. So is this opportunity going to cost me money? If so, how much? These ones, I'm not sure you'll get to those today, but if it does cost money, you can try to make a guess this way. You can also choose if this is going to be something that is at school, if this is a career opportunity, or something to do with your life, something that you potentially just want to change with your life. And that's about it for the video today. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video, and I will be down in the calf if you do need me for anything, but there will be a presentation going on. Uh, I hope you understood everything that was happening here, and if not, no problem. Work away the best you can on the questions, and I will be back with you tomorrow. Talk to you soon. Bye.